Hi, Fix Sons, and hello, new subscribers. Thank you so much for uh, uh, supporting my channel. Um, this is going to be, so I'm changing it up a little bit, you guys. Don't, it's okay, follow me. Don't get scared, don't get nervous, okay? So this is for Fix Suns and Fix Risings, okay? Because I realize that some people have the same sun sign and the same rising sign, okay? So if you are a Fix Sun sign or a Fix Rising sign, this video is for you. Uh, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. All right, this is your past, present, and best possible outcome in love, okay? So we're going to be using the Romance Angels today. I want you guys to let me know if you like it with these cards. We're going to be clarifying with our little regular deck that we always clarify with. Let me know if you like it with this. Uh, if you like this, if you like these readings with this card, or you want to go back to the old way of doing it. But I feel like these these cards are more descriptive, and it gives you a, a little bit more insight on what's going on. Okay, so let me know which one you guys prefer. All right, this is all about you guys. All right, so let's get let's see what's going on with the fixed suns and fixed ri fixed rising signs. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. Let's see what's going on with you. Past, present, and best possible outcome and love for the. Oh, I didn't even say the date for the twenty seventh. All right. Let's see. Oh, okay, first card. Okay, so that's your past. All right. Wow, your cards are just your cards are just popping out here. Uh, fixed suns and risings. Okay, let's get one more card for the best um, possible outcome. All right. So the, in your past in love, you have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Okay, so somebody was very codependent in the past or an alcoholic addicted to something, okay? Either um, you were codependent on this person or they were codependent on like a substance, drugs, money, sex. It, there's Codependency affected your love life in the past, okay? Somebody was very clingy here. Um, somebody was only in a relationship because it made them feel comfortable, okay? Um, or somebody was codependent on you. But it definitely affected um, the love life of you and your love interest in the past, okay? But this is in the past is over with and the present moment you have worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life so the universe is telling you that whoever you're waiting on whoever you are healing for it's worth waiting for okay the love that you got you share with this person is divine okay and it's worth waiting it's worth you healing it's worth you getting over past betrayal past hurt past pain okay um so this is your this is what this is what you are feeling presently you're waiting on somebody okay you feel like they're worth it we have two versions here this is this is very symbolic here is there maybe some of you are even celibate waiting to have sex holding off on sex because you only want this person you they're they're worth waiting on to you okay you don't care you 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 want you want you want what you want you're waiting on this person so that's beautiful okay so the best possible outcome here is heart to heart conversation Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Uh, so the best possible outcome is you guys are going to have a talk heart to heart, okay, about maybe about what happened. Maybe you were hurt. They were hurt. You hurt them. You guys hurt each other. Okay, so that's the best possible outcome. There's going to be a heart to heart conversation. All right. Let's get some clarifiers. Somebody may have to swallow their pride and um, open up to someone or initiate conversation. If you already said, you know, you apologize, I'm sorry, I hurt you or whatever. If you've already done that, let them come to you. Okay, let them express, you know, let them come to you and um, share their heart and open up to you. If you already, if you already done that, okay, somebody's going to be coming in with a conversation here. This is the best possible outcome. You guys are going to talk it out. You're going to talk about it, okay? Don't be resentful. Don't be angry. Don't be rigid. Okay. Don't be judgmental. Listen, hear them out. Hear them out because you've been waiting on them and don't act like you haven't because you have you Watch these readings every day. Okay. Right. Okay. So we have, um, we have the, uh, nine of swords in reverse and the uh, queen of cups in reverse. Okay, and then the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so somebody wants to discuss to you how they were very stressed out. They were nervous. They were anxious. Okay, somebody may even want to tell you that they they're they're kind of a narcissist or they were raped. They were raised by a narcissist. They might want to express this to you, like having a heart to heart, really opening up to you. Or somebody might want to share to you how they thought that you were a narcissist or they thought that maybe that you were a little bit emotionally unstable for them. And somebody wants the Ten of Pentacles with you. Somebody wants to build a family with you. Somebody here um, wants the legacy with you. They want you to be part of their legacy. All right, somebody really wants to open up and have a heart to heart with you. So hear them out, fixed suns and fixed rising. Okay, this could be you as well. Like if somebody is coming to you and they wanted to talk, they're wanting to open up and just spill their heart out to you. Just shut the fuck up and listen. Don't judge them. Don't give them a hard time and don't make them feel like what they're saying does not matter. Okay, this is not easy for this person to do. So hear them out. Okay, and this person is not the best at expressing themselves. They might be, they might come off a little weird or awkward. Just hear them out. Okay, be sweet, be compassionate. Okay. Um, because this person, you've been waiting on them, all right? So when they come into your life, hear them out. All right, don't be mean, okay? Good, 
All right, because this person definitely wants the Ten of Pentacles, the happily ever after with you. They might express this to you, all right? So let me know if you guys like this spread or you want to go back to the old way of doing it, all right? Love your feedback. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, okay? Thank you.